So my dear friend, is if you plan to exchange change the different mode for produce different papers, like this particular block machine, there's no need for you to do any other adjustment for the arms and for these arms also, because this uh, separate uh, paper machine only for produce papers. So what you can see now, you can you just uh, just only need to fix. Uh, Fix the spring, the spring, and the column together, uh, together with uh, you know, to keep the motor box, this motor box, with the machine itself. That's all. And later, I will teach you how to adjust uh, the pallet space, the pallet location. And like this one, this location, just like what I explained to you, some other supplier tried to copy our block machine. And like this design, they, no matter how how hard they work, but they cannot find out the correct location, correct uh, solution to design and fabricate this one. Maybe you maybe you feel it's very easy, very simple, but. Uh, but actually, the effect is very complex. Uh, this hook is for for stop for stop the top molding sinking sink down. So that means that times you think uh, the height of, of the of the blocks is ready. That means this yellow this yellow hook will sink inside here, so that it can stop the top mold continuously uh, going down. Okay. Change the mode. So that means that times you you make sure the top mode templates are the same location with the mode box. So use the lifter, use this lifter switch to lift up the mode, this top mode and mode box together. And until the, the mode, this yellow parts are touch approaching this machine templates and use this hook. Yeah, to tight it, to tight, to tight them. So that means finish. And now you drop down. You find out this, uh, this is supporting. Okay, the top. You can see now. Yeah. Yeah, and you check. How do you check? You're just using a uh, vibration to you know to, to make sure the top mode stuck inside the mode box uh completely. So you will use the winch to touch the screw again. Yeah. Same same also. Same same also. These two. It's two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, today is very hot. The temperature of today, today's temperature is 37, 37 degree. And you, you have to make sure this type, this type, 
have to be fixed at the correct location. Yes. Right. Okay. You can you can inspect uh, and check. Hello. Whether you see whether the motor box, uh, yeah, can go through. Yeah, you can see the the top mode can be go through the motor box smooth uh, smoothly. That means uh, the adjustment uh, for the top mode and the motor box is correct. Is correct. So I think it's more easier for you to understand. And we plan to test the, the mixing for the mixture. Yep. Sometimes, uh, Sometimes uh, the material is uh, if the material gets solid, uh, maybe the solid uh, no, no, the material is uh, get a bow to 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 together get strong together. Sometimes you can, and sometimes you make uh, be careful and try to remove some stones from the material. So your blocks or and uh, your papers will get more, more beautiful and smooth surface. So maybe some clients ask me how much percentage of the cement, how much percentage of the sand should be filled inside the mixture normally I will give you the the answer is uh, normally is a five percent five percent of the cement and uh, seventy percent of the sand The material will be dropped down by this hook. And you lock it by this again. Lock it again. This particular model of the block is our most popular seal model QTG 40 We have the invention for this particular block machine. Any other supplier is, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they hold copies of us. This machine is very, very good. Good choice for the starter to, to choose 
for the start for producing blocks you can see it's very easy and compared with the hydraulic big block machine uh, Compared with uh, the big block machine, you know, you know, it's uh, the, the strength of the blocks is very good. See, very beautiful. You see, uh huh, very beautiful, very beautiful. The top surface is very smooth. Ah. very beautiful but because our requirement uh, our client yeah okay our, okay our customer because our customer you know <laughs> required this size of the papers is a little big so that's why because the pellet uh, pellet size is limited so the quantity of this papers is only in two pieces only in two pieces because but uh, if you plan to get a more quantity at one time you can require us to make the size of the papers to be a little smaller a little smaller but this papers is very beautiful you see very beautiful ah look at this please look at have a look at the side surface it looks like a ceramic and a rock right and the side that the top surface is very smooth how to use this machine to produce the papers. This paper is kind of a square style without it lock it. But also after you paper together, the papers looks like also uh, the interlocking. And you feed in, feed in. Yes. You know why we have two vibrations sometimes? The letter. You have to keep you have to keep the material sunk inside the mold box very well. So and times I will guide you how to drop down this here after you feeding and uh, feeding and spreading the material well. So the mold box is full of the material. Now next step you will drop down the hook. Okay. Ah. Ah. And uh, vibration again to use this two switch. Uh, vibration again. Okay. Okay.
and now after this part is locked you can lift up the mode oh beautiful